Another special segment is the altitude, which is a little bit similar to the perpendicular bisectors in that they are perpendicular. So uh, an altitude provides the height of the triangle. So if I were to go ahead and mark some altitudes, all I have to do is mark a perpendicular line to a vertex and the, ba the side opposite. So the altitude would be where it intersects uh, with this line in here. So I actually could, if I wanted to, add a line here and do an intersection point. So I'll say click on this line and this line. So that is the altitude of the triangle right there. I can also do altitudes with uh, other points on the triangle. So even though this doesn't feel like the height, I'm going to be perpendicular to this line. So I'm clicking on that and I'm going through the opposite vertex. So an altitude is perpendicular to a base. It, the base could be any side of the triangle. And the end point for it is on the opposite vertex. So here's the base, there's the opposite vertex. And I can even do an altitude through uh, this base going through that vertex. And you can see, let me go ahead and make a line so you can see it a little better. And I'll mark where they intersect. And this segment. So you can see the altitude is this piece right here. Okay, so uh, the interesting thing is you can actually move the points around and for this triangle, this is an obtuse triangle. And where do all three altitudes intersect? Look at that. They actually intersect over here. Let me go ahead and mark that intersection point. And you can see here and here. And I should be able to make that red so you can really see it. Okay. And hopefully that will be there. Okay. So anyways, so you can see it there. And don't know how to make that disappear. So if I move this point right here, the uh, point of intersection moves. Now let me make this an acute triangle. See that the uh, altitude comes into the inside of the triangle. Now if I manage to make this a right triangle and it's slowing down on me a little bit, you can see the closer and closer I get to a 90 degree angle, the closer it gets to that vertex right there. So if the uh, triangle is a right triangle, the altitudes will actually intersect on the vertex of the right angle, which leads us to this table right here. I have the altitudes for a couple different triangles. I don't have the segments marked off. But if it was acute, the intersection was inside of the triangle. If it was a right triangle, it's actually that vertex in the right angle. And if it's obtuse, it's outside of the triangle. So it behaves very similarly to the perpendicular bisectors. Now, uh, what kind of strategies are you going to be using with these problems? The main thing you have to remember is that altitudes do create right triangles, so you might be using the Pythagorean theorem to find missing links. Additionally, you'll probably be using the triangle sum theorem to find the missing angles. So an altitude makes a 90 degree angle. You're going to set up an equation where 90 degrees plus the other two angles equals 180. Now, there is a shortcut that the two acute angles in a right triangle are always complementary. So the shortcut you could do is just say that the two angles that don't include the right angle add up to 90 degrees. So that saves you subtracting 90 from both sides. But either way works. So in this example, I know that uh, measure of angle Q and QRT and even TRS, and I'm trying to find the measure of angle S over in this corner. Well, the first thing I notice is that Q and QRT, these are both in the same triangle. And I know that one's 90. So I know automatically that all three angles have to add up to 180. So I add them all up, including the 90 degrees. I could have done a shortcut and said these two equal 90, because since I've already used up 90 here, there are only 90 degrees left there. But I'm going to keep it this way. Simplifying and combining like terms, I get 8x plus 84 is 180. Subtract 84 from both sides, I get 8x is 96, or x is 12. Now the thing I'm looking for is angle S. If I actually go back, I can put 12 back into any of these values here. But this angle right here, TRS, 
That one actually is complementary to angle S because that's another right angle where RTS is. Let me go ahead and mark that for you. So if I mark it, and let me change colors. Uh, ink color, here we go. We'll do red. So this angle right here is going to be complementary to angle S. So I'll go ahead and substitute in a 3 plus, times 12 plus 4, which is 36 plus 4, 50 degrees. So that tells me this angle is 50. That means that angle has to be 40 degrees. For further reflection, why do you think altitudes meet outside of a triangle when it's obtuse? You might want to go ahead and try playing with GeoGebra and make some of your own altitudes and see how they behave.